Mr. Rich Gary. He's Rich, he's Gary, he's Rich Gary, and he's here to do stand-up. Come on, people, show us some love. Yeah! I'm Rich yeah. Gary! Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys see that disco ball in the middle right there? I feel like that was left here from like some other night. <laughs> Alright, I put my cell phone down, I'm recording. Hey, I, uh, I'm excited because I'm excited because I just graduated from college in, in, uh, in, in December. Yeah. I mean, it's really, it's really exciting time for me right now because, like, I got a new job and it's so cool. I start my new job uh, serving tables next week. It's gonna be so awesome. And when I was in high school, I never thought, like, oh, I'm gonna go to college after high school and then I'm gonna serve tables. I'm not gonna be able to afford healthcare. It's gonna be great. But that's the reality that I live in. <laughs> so, yeah, I, no, I work at a restaurant, and I was serving this guy, and I was like, uh, did you want uh, coffee or, like, any dessert? And he said, yeah, do you think I can get an uh, Americano? I was like, pardon me, sir? I was wondering if I could get an Americano. I was like, dude, you can get an Americano, but I'm not going to make it special because you said it like that. Like I, know I know your parents paid for you to go study abroad for six months in Europe, and now you think you're cultured and diverse and shit, but you're just irritating regular people who have jobs. <laughs> you guys, uh, you guys like, you guys like rap music in here? Who likes rap music? So, a few, a couple people, you like rap music? No? Do you, do you get some good shots of me? Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I like rap music. Whenever I get a, a conversation with people about music, uh, I end up saying, uh, you know, I like rap, and, uh, you know, I like other music, too. Uh, like hip-hop. <laughs> I guess I just, I just like rap and hip-hop. I like uh, Chance the Rapper. You guys like Chance the Rapper? I'm still gonna do this joke. <laughs> I, don't care, I don't care how much you don't like Chance the Rapper. Chance the Rapper has a song where he says, Juice, juice, I got the juice, I got the juice. But it kind of sounds like he's saying, Juice, juice, I got the juice, I got the juice. I think that's how he won the Grammy, guys. I think that was it right there. You guys like Kanye West? Yeah. Yeah, I like Kanye. Kanye takes a lot of heat. But I like him. He's got a song on his new album called Highlights, uh, where he says, uh, "Sometimes I wish my dick had GoPro so I could play that shit back on slow mo." <laughs> Kanye, Kanye, Kanye. See, I know a thing or two about video editing, and <laughs> GoPro doesn't have film in high enough frames per second to render quality image and slow motion playback. You fucking idiot. <laughs> it's a video editing joke. <laughs> I'm single, I'm a single man, was recently uh, dumped by two girls in a row, uh, which is kind of like, uh, I, was, I was in a relationship with one girl for three, for three years, and then she dumped me and I jumped right into another relationship with another girl for about six months, which is kind of like breaking your hand and you get a cast, and then you go to a beach and a shark rips your whole arm off and you're like, no, I was healing that, why? Uh, the first girl was tall and bold, with an infectious personality that demands attention in whatever room she enters. The other, a cheerful and charming working white-collar woman, whose ambitions were the only thing higher than her heels. This spring, catch Rich Gary in depressed. The sad and lonely story. Story starring Channing Tatum. Directed by James Cameron. So the first thing I noticed after becoming single is that my cell phone isn't dying as quickly because I'm not constantly drafting and redrafting text messages and going on thesaurus.com and trying to sound smarter. So now it goes something like this. Oh, nobody loves me. 
suicide? Mm, maybe not now. Maybe not while I'm at work. <laughs> uh, dating's weird. Sucks. I went on a date with a girl recently. She brought a deck of cards to the date. And each one of the cards has a question on it. So you read the cards and you ask each other the questions. It's a self-disclosure game. So she reads me a card. It says, what foods make you gag? And I'm like, oh, I don't like... You know, like mayonnaise on my sandwiches. And she was like, I don't eat cum. I was like, whoa. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> Shit. That's kind of like mayonnaise. <laughs> the next question was, uh, what's your astrological sign? Uh, people like to infer a lot about you based on your astrological sign. She said, what's your sign? I said, I'm a Scorpio. And she goes, ooh, oh, Scorpio? <laughs> You must be like really good in bed, right? And that was when I knew that astrology was bullshit. <laughs> she would have said, oh, Scorpio, you must get mediocre cunnilingus. I'd be like, yeah, I would also describe my cunnilingus as mediocre. <laughs> oh, Scorpio, you must be up in the last like three and a half minutes in bed, right? What? That's my record, girl. You know so much about me. <laughs> so now I'm just going on Facebook, looking at the suggested friends. You guys ever do that? I'm just looking for hot girls, that's all I'm doing. 31 mutual friends. Oh, I better add her. Her name, Megan McCarthy. Probably shouldn't use her real name for this joke. <laughs> Look at her profile pictures. Still pretty cute, still pretty cute. Oh, hold up. There's a golf picture. Up the brakes. Whoa, 31 golf pictures in a row? What's going on, Megan McGrath? What am I going to learn how to play golf? This is a good time in my life to learn how to play golf. Got to buy golf pants, get a golf bag, take golf lessons. I don't think so, you know. I mean, I bought golf pants today. So far, I've spent $500 in this relationship. I just hope that she accepts my friend request. It's been two weeks. <laughs> Started driving for Uber. She wants me to wrap it up. One more. So I started driving for Uber. It's a serious thing. Taking this girl. She said, yo, you're taking me to a drug test. I said, oh, for real? She's like, yeah, you got any clean pee? I was like, whoa. <laughs> I was like, whatever. So I peed in the cup and we kept it on the dashboard so it'd stay warm. I don't have clean pee. I drive for Uber. That girl's going to jail. My name's Rich Gary. All of the fun times here. Are you guys doing it? I'm going to ask you every time yeah. so annoyingly. Woo! Hey gang, how we doing? Woo! <laughs> Wasn't that crazy when we caught that robber that was wearing that mask and that bus with that high dog? Anyways, so we've got another newcomer here. By the way, I'm so happy to see so many people here <laughs> and um, so many new faces uh, on this stage. Uh, please invite all your friends, your grandma, if she's down. Sometimes grandma's down. You don't, you don't always know. Don't assume. Ask her. Um, make sure that you come on out to support. We've got Ricky Two Tam. Damn. I always do it. I'm sorry. I'll get it. Come back more. Here we go. Woo! 